Please be advised that this recorded webinar has been edited from its original format, which may have included a product demo. To set up a live demo or to request more information, please complete the form to the right. Or if you are currently not on CSC Global, there is a link to the website in the description of this video. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar, eRecording Fundamentals, an Innovative Real Estate Solution. My name is Caitlin Alberta and I will be your moderator today. Joining us today are Musa Khan and Andrew Singleton. Musa is a National Account Manager for the Electronic Document Recording, e-recording division of CSC based out of Wilmington, Delaware. He's been with CSC for more than five years and is dedicated to CSC's e-recording program and his daily workflow includes onboarding submitters to use CSC's e-recording digital tools and new client acquisition. Andrew is a sales engineer in the Real Estate Services Group at CSC. Since joining CSC in 2015, Andrew has held several roles in Real Estate Group, including sales representative and team leader, where he provided onboarding and service delivery for submitters using ePrepare, CSC's e-recording solution to reduce risk, document rejection, and processing time across the document's life cycle. And with that, I'd like to welcome Andrew and Musa. Thank you, Caitlin, and thank you everyone for joining us today uh, on our, on our e-recording webinar. Um, a little bit before we get started on, on e-recording is a little bit about CSC, right? We are the world's leading provi provider of business administration and compliance solutions. Um, you know, we, we're, we're a global organization. Uh, we have presence in five continents. Uh, we have expertise and capabilities in more than 140 juris jurisdictions worldwide. Um, we employ more than 8,000 employees throughout the world. Um, we're also the trusted partner uh, of choice for more than 90% of the Fortune 500 companies, more than 90% of the 100 best global brands, more than 70% of the PEI 300, and we service in a variety of forms more than 10,000 law firms. So in short, our tagline is we are the business behind the business and uh, anything that you need, CSC can provide for you. And then speaking to those services, this next slide provides a, a breakdown of the various services that CSC as a whole provides. Um, we provide business administration and compliance services, fund solutions, transactions and lending, capital markets, and domain security and brand protection. So there again, CSC is a trusted partner of choice for, for a large portion of organizations you know, throughout the world and, and um, anything that you need, CSC can, can do for you. Now the age old question, why CSC for e-recording services? CSC was established uh, in the year 1899. Um, in fact, we celebrated 125 years of service this year. Um, we provide a plethora of services to uh, various companies across the globe, as Andy had alluded to in the previous slide. Now, our services, they span uh, across multiple industries throughout the globe. Now, the main services that we offer include business, legal, tax, uh, and digital brand services. And as I did mention, for over a century, we've brought immense value to the marketplace. We are uh, popularly also referred to as the business behind business, and our commitment to uh, excellence is the driving force that allows us to continue to thrive decade after decade. And specifically for e-recording, we were the first ones in the market to um, bring e-recording and continue to provide value to our customers through the service. And year after year, uh, CSC has provided world-class customer service and support to our clients. Service is our middle name, and customer success is at the heart of our approach to business. Okay, so looking at uh, today's agenda, we're going to be discussing market trends and insights, uh, going over the e-recording basics, and also discuss uh, notable county activations, uh, a little bit about our comprehensive real estate services, uh, paper recording, and also another additional service that CSE offers, which is the UCC service. Uh, there will be a question for Q&A and a product demo at the end. All right, so on this slide, we're going to 
review and take a look at market trends and insights. Um, majority of these numbers are, are Q1 this year versus Q1 in 2023. Um, and this is, can provide you know, all of us on the call insight as to where things are going in our, in our industry and in the real estate businesses in general. Um, total mortgage origination dollar in, in, in terms of dollars, uh, was 13.2% increase from 23 to 24. Purchase originations increased 9%. Uh, refi origination dollars increased 30.3%. And the current 30-year FRM, 7.23, uh, as opposed to 6.88. So about a third of a percentage point increase year over year. Um, home sales, the total home sales is down 2.2% from Q1-23 to this year. Existing home sales down 3.2%. New home sales and so new construction has an increase of 4.5%. Um, then the median home prices is 385, a little over 385,000, which is down, I'm sorry, up by a little over 5% uh, over Q1-23 to 366, uh, pushing 367,000. So um, unsold inventory increased as well, over 1.2 million. Um, as it relates to Economic relations, uh, the 10-year treasury, treasury yield is uh, currently 4.3, pushing 4.35% um, as of uh, about a month ago, beginning of June. Um, this time last year, it was about 3.7%. 3, 3. Um, and unemployment changed a little bit. Um, it's actually 4, it says 3.9%, but as of July 1, that was actually increased slightly more to 4.1%, whereas it was uh, almost 3.5%. Uh, Q1 of last year. So, you know, all, all this is our, our indicators of where things are going in our, in our world, in the real estate world, and where things uh, stood a year ago and where things are going now. And as we all know, the real estate industry is cyclical. Um, you have that, you know, the, high, the highs are highs, the lows are lows, and, we're, and it's a constant, um, you know, roller coaster, so to speak, and, and we're kind of in the middle of that right now, so. So here's some e-recording basics for those of you unfamiliar with e-recording and perhaps you're considering transitioning your processes over to the e-recording methods. Um, as Musa alluded to earlier in an earlier slide, we were the first to market e-recording uh, way back in 2002. Um, we, we did that in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, uh, was the first e-recorded document. Um, many a wide variety of entity types e-record with CSC. The traditional lenders, mortgage lenders, and mortgage servicers, uh, title companies, law firms, many other entity types um, transmit documents over our secure web-based web -based, uh, network to county recorders nationwide. Um, also, government agencies, what we call G2G, um, you know, conduct their electronic recording transactions through, through uh, CSC as well. Um, as it stands right now, CSC's network covers a little more than 90% of the U.S. population. Um, we're in approximately 2,500 counties in, uh, in the country. Uh, roughly, there's 3,600 counties nationwide. So you may, you may look at that and hear that and say, well, wow, there's 1,100 counties that, aren't, aren't, that are not even recording. Um, but there's 2,500 that do encompasses a little over 90% of the U.S. population. Um, E-recording provides you with the ability to, to e-record much more quickly, securely, uh, efficiently, uh, and in most cases, that there's cost benefits to it on your end. Um, it's real easy to, to e-record and set up an account with us. Um, and it's also off the best practice endorsed by the CFTB. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we have over 10,000 customers using uh, our, our e-prepare system, our e-recording platform. Um, and it's Again, all different types of entities, you know, from the largest banks in the world that, that control a lot of the mortgage origination that goes on to uh, all the primary underwriters, um, their, their agencies and their agents use us for, for e-recording as well. So we have great relationships with all of the major title underwriters and um, many of the bigger, larger banks in, uh, in the country use our, our e-recording service as well. So... Uh, it's a great product that we offer, and we, we certainly stand behind our, our platform, and it's true, true and tried and tested. And um, there are, again, many 
many of the largest organizations in the country use our, our e-recording system. So let's talk a little bit more about um, e-recording basics. Uh, there's two uh, main ways to electronically record your documents. And uh, just to kind of pull back a little bit and um, look at e-recording um, at its core, it, this is basically like a secure bridge that allows the submitter to quickly and effectively transmit documents directly to the recorder's office without worrying about any county requirements. Um, or how you're going to pay for it because CSC fronts all the cost. So looking at the main uh, two main types uh, of electronic recording, uh, there's the mainstream e-recording, which is also referred to as level two for all document types. So in a nutshell, you will have the ability to scan and upload your document as either a PDF or a TIFF image into our system. And as I'd mentioned, the system has all the requirements built into it. If you do have any additional um, documentation in terms of uh, supporting documentation that you would need to upload with, uh, say, your instrument like a deed or mortgage, you will be prompted to do so. Uh, you will also be prompted to input any data items, also referred to as indexing, in a package. Um, and then also not worry about cutting a check. Um, CSC fronts all the costs once the documents get recorded. Um, and then once everything's taken care of in terms of document recordation, um, all uh, the fees are reconciled into an invoice and then transmitted back to the submitter for reconciliation. There's also another way to uh, prepare documents specifically for your mortgage lien releases, assignments. Um, it would work very similarly in, in terms of how you would create a package, but the, where, uh, the place where it actually uh, changes is that you will have the ability to generate a lien release. Uh, CSC has templates for all 3,600 or so jurisdictions for both releases and assignments throughout the country. You input your data, you generate the lien release, you will have the ability to um, also digitally sign and notarize those documents and transmit to the counties directly. And as I mentioned, for all 3,600 or so, or for all 50 states, CSC has all the templates available for you, both for commercial and residential. Hey, Lisa, real quick, if I can just add another component to the lien release to the level three e-recording. Uh, you know, you have the ability in our system to, there again, use the templates that Musa referenced. And you can go in and render the document, right? So you can enter enter in all the data using those templates to complete your release or assignment. Um, but perhaps it's not e-recording county, right? Where um, you know we have the data, we have the the completed release or assignment, but we need to get it get it recorded, right? So you have the ability ability to to do that within our system. Print out the document, wet sign it, wet notarize it, and then at that point go about. Uh, traditional methods to get it recorded, whether it be mailing it, you know, sending out, sending it out in the mail, um, or as we will get to in another slide, in a future slide, uh, we have a team in Tallahassee that um, that we do that does full service recording. Um, so in theory, you could send that send it down to our team in Tallahassee, and we'll get it, re and, and they'll take care of getting it recorded for you too. There again, that's something that we'll speak to on another slide, but. Um, you know, taking advantage of while I'm here with Moose on this on this slide, the level three truly does. If you're if you're a, a, a bank or financial institution that's recording lien releases and assignments in bulk, especially, our level three would certainly be be of uh, high, highly benefit beneficial to you. Um, it provides you a lot of different ways and, and mechanisms to to streamline your processes. Thanks, Andy. Now let's look at what happens after the documents get recorded. Now, um, after you submit the documents, they're at the recorder's office, they get uh, recorded. You can set notifications that your documents have been recorded. Um, immediately after the county recorder's office records the document, they transmit uh, those packages back to the submit submitter. And you should be easily able to access it, review it um, in a neatly set dashboard. Um, 
And then, of course, the next step in the process is to make sure that everything in terms of accounting is handled. There are nightly reports that get generated and go out to all of our submitters. These reports have all the necessary uh, information that you would need to know in terms of recording information, any fees, all the totals, etc. And then the following day, after your documents get recorded, CSC uh, would reconcile any amounts using the payment method on file. And one thing to note that um, I typically allude to this uh, while interacting with all of my clients is that the miracle of e-recording is that your documents will never get rejected um, for your check being off a certain dollar amount. Um, in the past, we've heard of situations where counties immediately reject a package for the check being a dollar off whether it was over or under. So you will never have your packages rejected or your documents rejected for um, you know, your check being off because CSC basically works with the counties and uh, we work hard in the background to make sure that the fees are accurately represented not only within the system but also accurately paid uh, to the county recorders as well. And if I can just add real quick, Musa, the security component of e-recording, right? So with the counties using a PDF or TIF image that's being sent to the submitter, the original wet sign document is, is remaining in our submitter's possession, right? So there's no, no chance to lose it. You know, for example, in the mail, um, you know, the, the original wet sign document is remaining in the possession of the, the submitter at all times. Um, so that, that's another added component, if you will, for those of you not already e-recording, is that you know you don't you'll never have to. If, if I've heard, I, I'm, I personally have heard of from a lot of people that had lost um, their documents in the mail, um, whether you know on transit to the to the uh, uh, courthouse or, or in return. Um, you know, so that's certainly a, a com, you know a component that can can and 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 has happened, uh, but the e-recording that won't. Um, you know, there's that human element. On the county's end, when it's electronically submitted, it lands in their their recording queue, and the clerks are reviewing them as they come in on a on a first come first or you know first come first serve basis. So uh, that's another feature to discuss while we're here is simply the security security aspect of e-recording. So on this slide, we're going to discuss some of the additional features available within our e-prepare system. Um, yeah, first and foremost, when you know when we go live at the county, they tell us all of their requirements, what their what their you know sizing requirements are, what their margin requirements are, things like that. Um, any indexing that may be required, uh, dependent on the document itself, um, is 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 made known to us, and we we develop that into our e-prepare system. Um, if there's uh, tips you know that we've learned over the years with uh, particular jurisdictions, we we embed that into our e-prepare system. If there's links that have to go, uh, that have, forms that have to be completed, um, we provide links to do so. So there's a lot of knowledge within our e-prepare system. Um, and, and from what we hear, it's very user-friendly. Uh, and those extra or added components help to facilitate that. Um, we have image utility tools, right? So when you go to upload a document, maybe someone signed a blue ink, for example, and it's a little faded, in the scanning process, we have image utility tools that allow you to, uh, for lack of lack of a better term, clean up the document. Right? It, uh, you can darken uh, certain aspects of the document or the document in itself. Um, you know, if you want to, uh, maybe someone there's maybe someone spilled a cup of coffee on the on the document. We have the ability to remove, you know, stains and things like that from the document. So those image utility tools allow you to clean up the document. Um, as needed. You may have clean, crisp doc documents and may never need to use those tools, but they're there for you in the event that you do. Um, we have a submitter support team that's available at 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday Eastern Time, and they're, uh, they're available through a number of methods. You can live chat with our support team right through ePrepare, and then the, the phone number to give them a call, you could do that as well. And, um, you have the ability to email our, our support team right through ePrepare as well. So. Um, as I alluded to in the previous slide, there's a human element that, that's in play on the e-recording on the county side. When a document gets delivered, the county clerks are reviewing them as, you know, as, they, as they come in and processing them accordingly. 
um, if they reject a document for a particular reason, they're going to hand key the reason for, the, for that rejection. And when it comes back to, back to you, you'll be able to see their note or their explanation as to why they, they rejected it. That way you can go in there, right back into that package, prepare for resubmission, make the necessary corrections and adjustments, and get it resubmitted right in a timely fashion. Um, we have a county knowledge page or link within ePrepare um, that you can do a number of things or, or add a number of things to, to as you see fit for your organization. Um, we have email notifications. So not only can you and your users set up their own email preferences to be notified of any and all statuses and had TIFF or PDF images attached to those emails, but you can also loop in your clients, right? So if you have their email addresses, you can loop them in the notification cycle as well. So they too will receive an email notification of the, the outcome of their, their, their document and a PDF or TIFF image attached to that email as well. Um, and for uh, those of you that do large volume, we have a wide variety of integrated services um, that we can do. We can do custom integrations. Um, for those of you that are using various title software, uh, title software um, that's out there in the market, SawPro, RamQuest, ResWare, to name a few, we have integrations with those title solvers as well. So, um, but there again, we have we have custom integrations that we can we can do for those of you that are doing bulk volume um, to help help expedite your your process and streamline your process even further. Ever since uh, the adoption of e-recording uh, in, in 2002, and, and now of course it's being uh, widely used uh, across multiple industries, we've come a long way in terms of county coverage. I think it's become more of a need, and that's why more and more counties are now switching to e-recording, because uh, it's easier for them as well to receive documents. Currently, CSC has uh, nearly 2,400 um, counties active in our network across uh, the United States and the U.S. territories, and um, our coverage includes over 90% of the U.S. population. Um, as you can see on your slide, some notable county activations for 2024 include Madison, uh, Mississippi, nearly uh, 100,000 people, uh, Sutter, California, 95,000, uh, DeKalb, Alabama, uh, Lenoke, Arkansas, and Hardin, Texas. Um, and, and one thing uh, of note to mention is uh, the state of Vermont, uh, which is the only state that has yet to adopt e-recording. And Andy, uh, I believe you would like to chime in on this. Uh, I believe there's some legislation out there, there that is passed. There is. Yep, there is. There, there's legislation that's being discussed currently in, in Vermont. So they're, it's, you know, they're, they're closing in on, on, fine, on finalizing it and, um, you know, dotting the I's and crossing the T's, so to speak. So um, those of you that have a need to record in Vermont, it's, it's, it's coming. It'll be there. It'll be there soon. We don't have an ETA, as you know. It's government. Government. And government doesn't necessarily always uh, expedite things. But um, having said that, you know, the, they're 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 you know, t proverbially turning uh, third base and heading home. And um, you know, we anticipate that they'll be going live and live soon, and then uh, we'll be able to close up the entire nation at that point. Um, and if I can just add real quick, you know, 2,400 counties, 90% uh, of the U.S. population. Just a quick note, when I first started back in 2015, we had a little over 800 counties. So you know, we more than tripled, or just about tripled, our county coverage in, you know, what, nine years or so. So, um, you know, not only do we have our, our e-recording support team, but we also have a, a team that, that works with the counties, those that are, uh, that are remaining um, you know, kind of on the fence on e-recording. We're, we're in constant communication with those, those counties and those jurisdictions to, to get them uh, to adopt e-recording and transition into an electronic method as well. So um, just because they're not e-recording now doesn't, mean, doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that they won't in the future. And um, You can rest assured that CSC will do all we can to get them on board. All right, on this slide, we're going to discuss um, comprehensive uh, our comprehensive solutions from for our e-recording um, from our e-recording system. Not only can you e-record, but you do a number of a, a number of other things within our e-prepare system. Right. First and foremost, we have uh, full service lien release processing. Um, for those of you that are recording releases or satisfactions of mortgages, we have the ability to pr to provide borrower notification letters. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have custom email notifications. So not only do we have or provide the ability to for your customers 
since they receive a re, a, just a generic uh, email you know, an email notification that their documents have been recorded. But you, we can also customize it to where it includes anything that you want, your letterhead, your, you know, all of your, your information to where it looks as, as if it's coming from your, your organization. Um, we also provide property search services. And for those of you in those handful of uh, uh, counties throughout the, the, the West and Midwest that require this, we have e-trustee services. And then we have a fee calculator. Um, and we have the ability to, to calculate all fees for, for any and all document types, uh, no matter the jurisdiction. So we also offer a full service lien release uh, processing option that our submitters can leverage to basically outsource the lien release process to CSC just to uh, paint the picture or give all of our viewers a better understanding of how this works. Um, the submitter, the customer can place the order for CSC to prepare and, um, and or record the lien release. Um, either the documents are sent in to us already prepared, or we could also help prepare the releases as well. Now, the order can be created either by using the uh, original instrument or by inputting uh, some data items which are necessary for the release to be prepared. And if by chance uh, you do not have the security instrument, uh, we also offer uh, search services um, or also known as property search services that Andy mentioned earlier, which we're also going to talk about that uh, in, a bit, uh, in a bit more detail uh, later in, in the presentation. Uh, the lien release processing is available for all recording jurisdictions, and wherever possible, uh, we will e-record or electronically record the documents. Uh, otherwise, we'll just mail them out uh, to the correct county. And as always, CSC fronts all the recording fees and, if applicable, any taxes as well. And once everything's recorded, uh, you're easily able to track all the documents within the ePrepare dashboard. All right, so this is an example of um, the bar notification letter, uh, an additional um, add-on real estate uh, service that we offer. Um, so every time a um, release is prepared, a mortgage is satisfied for any of our, um, I would say, uh, any of your customers, especially for, for lenders, um, I'm sure that they, a letter is prepared which, which goes out to your customer where you notify them your mortgage has been satisfied. Uh, CSE offers uh, the BNL or the borrower notification letter service. So whenever you prepare the release within our level 3E recording system, you'll have the option to hit a drop down and, uh, and basically it's a, it's a simple question. Um, would you like uh, for this bar notification letter to be prepared and sent out to the customer? Um, and if you hit yes, a notification goes out to our team in Tallahassee, uh, Florida, which basically already would have a, a template of what you would want uh, to go out to your customer. Uh, so they prepare a very, um, I would say, neatly prepared uh, letter, for lack of a better term. Uh, and, and, and I believe um, a, a, rele a copy of the release, uh, as well as this letter, uh, will go out to your customer uh, in print form. Very, um, I would say, um, good for a lot of customers that are looking to free up uh, some time and this task can be handled uh, by CSE uh, for a lot of our lending clients. In this slide dis discusses our custom emails, as I mentioned in previous slides. Um, there again, you have the ability to, to send custom emails to your clients once their documents have been recorded. Uh, this is what it will look like. We have a traditional one, and then we have one that you can customize to include your letterhead and, and uh, certain things from your, your organization, your business that you, want to, you would want to include. Um, and then when, when, when checked off, they too, the customer, your customer, would also receive a PDF or TIFF image attached to that email as well. So yeah, for those of you that are waiting for documents to come back to you and you've got to print them out and you've got to mail them to your clients or you have to wait for them to come into the office to give them a, a hard copy of their recorded document, if you have their email address, this, this will kind of take take or replace that back-end process for you. There again, with all 
with the mind or the goal being of helping you to streamline your processes through the, through the life cycle of your, your recording uh, process. All right, and on this slide, we're going to discuss our property searches or do a quick overview, if you will, of our property search services. Um, there again, it's all within ePrepare, so you, you know, the same account that you go in to prepare your, your documents for e-recording. There will be a link, a link up, up at the top there for property searches. And through our property search, you could, you could search through a number of, of mechanisms, whether it be the address, the owner, or by APN. Um, we can provide summary reports, detailed reports. Um, in some jurisdictions, we have the ability to pull in images of the last financial document or transfer document. Um, you know, so, so long as the county provides or has made that accessible, we, can, we have that, that ability to pull it into ePrepare for you. Um, and it provides you a transaction history as well, record, you know, recordation data, um, an abbreviated legal description, uh, things like that. And within it, we provide an availability report. Not all states, not all counties within those states, you know, have, make their data available. Um, and that availability, availability report will outline by state which counties, um, you know, this service is, is available for and what reports or images are available per each one of these counties. So let's discuss uh, our eTrustee services, which is part of our um, e-recording suite of services. Um, there, I, I believe, are 10 um, states currently that require a third-party trustee to sign um, and notarize a release. And CSC has partnered with um, a trustee servicer that is able to legally sign as a trustee. Um, now, just to paint the picture for uh, all of our viewers, whenever you're using or utilizing our level three e-recording system, um, the document type uh, that you can use to prepare um, the release is called a sub um which as I mentioned is available in our level three e-recording platform. Um, in that template, you will have the option to again hit a drop down and select whether you want the document to be transmitted for a third party uh, trustee services. Uh, and automatically, once you hit yes, and once the document submitted, it's routed to the servicer, which they then sign and notarize the document, um, and then immediately go ahead and transmit it uh, for recording to the county recorder's office. So all in all, I would say a pretty um, easy uh, process uh, with just one drop down, but handles a very, uh, I would say, important part um, of the document submission process, especially when it comes to releases. And at the end of the, I think the last slide kind of talks a little bit about what states the service is available in. So Arkansas, Arizona, California, Idaho, Montana, Nebraska, uh, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. So uh, if you're joining from any of these states, I think uh, this is something that would definitely assist you. When submitting documents, I believe it's it's very important to, to have accurate uh, fees um, paid out to the county recorder's office. We've had situations where if customers um, have submitted documents, um, through the traditional paper, paper method, uh, their documents have been rejected because the check was off a dollar or two. So, so that kind of speaks to the importance of having accurate uh, county recording fees uh, calculated prior uh, to submitting the documents or the package to the counties. We've recently incorporated the county fee calculation estimator feature. Uh, this enables our submitters to uh, input some data points to basically be able to retrieve uh, accurate county recording fees prior to submitting their documents. And uh, the availability is for all doc types. And again, it's state and county specific. And with the subscription to this feature, which either could be yearly or monthly, you'll have unlimited access uh, to pull county recording fees and taxes for various document types. Okay, so on this slide, we're gonna discuss our paper recording services. So. As uh, Musa and I have, have um, touched base on in previous slides, is CSC's ability and our ability and on the, the recording team to, to provide a, a suite of um, full service capabilities when it comes to recording. And we have a team in Tallahassee, Florida that, that provides paper recording services. So um, we have submitters that 
you know, they just don't want to do, they, they don't want to have to worry about anything, right? They execute the documents on their end and they just want to say, see, see here, you guys take care of it. And you can mail your documents down to our team in Tallahassee and they'll get them recorded ones, recorded for you. Um, they'll either e-record your documents through any jurisdictions that accept e-recording. And then if any don't e don't accept e-recording, they'll go ahead and overnight those documents to the respective uh, county recording offices to get processed. And then they'll return everything back to you. Um, they'll upload the recorded images into your e-prepare system so you'll have immediate access to those recorded images. And then they'll mail back the originals and the recorded instruments back to you through tradi traditional uh, mailing um, methods. So uh, this really just cuts right to the heart of CSC's ability to provide full service capabilities within our, our e-recording uh, ecosystem. Um, you can, in, when it comes to releases and satisfactions and, and some of the other services that Musa and I have talked about, you can prepare your documents and then you prepare your releases and, assign, and assign it. And then you can choose to have CSC take, take it from there and get them, get them recorded for you as well. So a number of different variations where our, our team in Tallahassee can come into play and, and, um, and help you uh, help expedite your process and streamline your process even further. CSC uh, also uh, provides another service that oftentimes uh, can go hand in hand with the e recording process when it comes to uh, real estate transactions, and that is our UCC service. I think it's important for us to to, to mention uh, or touch up a little bit about our UCC services. Um, a lot of times there's overlap uh, where some of our submitters uh, who record at the county level would also need to, to file UCC documents at the state level as well. Um, with, with this service, our customers can search, they can file, monitor, as well as track uh, UCCs and um, everything that's related to the full UCC process and cycle. Uh, CSC can can definitely handle. So if if you do have an interest or a need for UCC services, either um, as as standalone or in addition to our e-recording services, uh, feel free to let us know. Um, we're happy to help. There's a web link also posted um, at the end of the slide, uh, which you can definitely access. Um, and and we'll be more than happy to put you in contact with our great team over there uh, on the UCC side. 